Welcome to Technician's Toolbox. I'm your host today, Larry Ledoux. We're going to discuss automatic temp control and the worst possible customer complaint on an automatic temp control vehicle is to experience no blower operation. And regardless of whether it's super hot or super cold in your area, no blower operation will lead to massive customer complaint. Electronics are abundant in the vehicle that we're repairing today. The vehicle, which is a 2006 Chevrolet Silverado with the 5.3 liter engine with automatic temp control, has a possibility of up to 12 separate control modules on it. The HVAC system alone uses Class II serial data for communication as well as high-speed CAN serial data. For this reason, we will attach a scan tool as our first step in diagnosis and check for diagnostic trouble codes in both the powertrain control module and the body control module. The next step in our diagnosis will be to go to GM's TIS2 website to search for reprogramming updates for the PCM, the BCM, as well as the HVAC control module. Our step confirms that there are no updates that may affect no blower operation. Therefore, we will approach it from our traditional diagnostic standpoint. We will check power and ground circuits. Grounds are located at G200 and G203. Voltmeter testing verifies with the engine at idle that these grounds are less than 100 millivolts differential between the ground point and battery negative. On the power side, there are five fuses that supply power to the components within the automatic temp control system. All powers are confirmed and grounds are confirmed. We've learned through our diagnosis and our wiring diagram that there is access to connectors on the end of the instrument panel on the passenger side. We remove the small cover and we access the wires between the control head and the blower motor control module. The purple wire with the white tracer, which is circuit 760, is control pressure to the blower module from the switch on the control head. We can go from low speed to high speed and the voltage on our voltmeter varies from 4.95 volts to 1.65 volts on high. Repeated cycling of the switch from low to high returning to low confirms that these voltages remain constant. The other circuit we want to check is the red wire which is circuit 542. This wire is power from the control head to the blower motor control module. We confirm that we have 13.85 volts at this wire. We have confirmed that we have power to the control, the blower control module. So we're going to remove the hush pad from under the instrument panel on the passenger side and access the blower motor. We merely reach under the panel, depress a little spring-loaded tab and twist the motor counterclockwise. We remove the motor from the HVAC control panel and we take a fuse jumper for power and ground and apply directly to the motor. The motor performs well on high speed with power and ground applied. We return to the office and check for technical service bulletins because in the past, General Motors has recommended that if a blower motor control module is faulty, they recommend that you replace both the blower motor and the blower motor control module as a unit. Upon checking TSBs for our 2006, this is no longer recommended. There are no TSBs. We purchase a blower motor control module and install it in the truck. We reinstall the blower motor, turning it clockwise until it latches under the locking tab. 
cycling the control blower control switch on the control head from low to high, returning to high, returns it to normal operation. Although today's cars still operate in a traditional manner, we have modules and computers throughout the vehicle. We have to isolate the problem and test from there. We were able to confirm that we were getting power and ground from the control head to the blower control module and that the blower motor would work without the blower motor control module attached. Therefore, the only problem left to be repaired was the blower motor control module. Remember, we're working with networking, a PCM, a BCM, an HVAC control module in the dash, and a blower motor control module. Electronics and traditional 12 volt systems working together. On behalf of Technician's Toolbox, we hope that this information will help you in diagnosing your next no blower problem on an automatic temp control vehicle.